What are you up to today? You say we're heading to Kassan. Got the puppy in the back. Hey, Freya. You gonna go for a ride? About an hour and a half drive. Got the whole family. Say good morning. Good morning. Well, we're backtracking quite a ways. I think we took the wrong turn. Ended up on a logging road that got a little bit narrower and narrower as we went, so. Kids there watching. What are you watching? The star? She is. She is? But we're on an adventure. view of the mountains here probably can't see it too good with the GoPro but I believe the population is like 40 or 50 people we came here to pick up a couple puppies with some friends hi 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 you good pup but yeah beautiful town they have a totem park we're gonna walk down to and it looks like uh, this is the library over here Ocean is right there. But what a cool place. Maybe the school here too. Yup. So this is your typical Southeast Alaska school setup for outdoor recreation. You're gonna have a covered area because it rains all the time except for today, which is nice. When you get 16, 17 days of rain in a row, two days without rain, and this place is dry already. Pretty cool though. Very friendly people in Southeast Alaska. Very nice people. Very dog friendly people. Lots of dogs. Dogs, everybody's got dogs. Dogs come in town, town dogs, store dogs. The tide's up right now. These look pretty fresh. Just a little bit of salt. Tasty. Gotta get my vegetables. Puppies. What are you gonna name it? Kula. Kula. Mm -hmm. This one is hot too. What is it? Hot ku. Hot ku? Hot ku. Okay. That's cool. Uh oh, watch out. I don't know if this is a carving shed or where they have the pot latch, but this is a beautiful structure. No camping allowed. Order by the walk. This is the traditional house where they would live. They had the fire pit in the middle. And then above they'd have a small opening for the smoke to escape. So when they're used a long time, the roof would get black. But yeah, it smells like sauna in here. Yeah. But very cool, beautiful. I don't know if any of this video will come out. You can see where they chipped away and they can 
be cool. Maybe we can get a permit to camp in here for a night. Cool. It said in the, no camping on the door outside. I thought it meant for the outside, but it's probably for inside here because it's unlocked. Well, I bet we'd get a, maybe we'd get a permit. We gotta walk the beach back. Driftwood Alley here. What a cool place to be. I think this will be our new favorite place to come looking for driftwood. It's just littered with it everywhere. Clarence Strait comes up through there and that wind just pushes, pushes hard through here. Look at this big old tree I'm standing on. But there is wood stacked way up into the trees so you can just imagine how high the waves will grow. Just so cool. So these are the That's treasures from the seashore. That's well, except for the cones. This is such a big coral. This piece, and then this is a abalone shell. I did not see that. That's abalone. And then inside there, you can tell it's another abalone. So we can take this home. And you can grow succulents in there. Mm. And then these cones just fell, maybe from a storm. Or a squirrel. So we take these cones and then we put a piece of tin foil on top of the fireplace and dry them out for fire starter for when we go camping. But it's also aromatic, makes the whole house smell delicious. And then we found this really cool piece of driftwood. Once it dries out, it might make a fine walking stick. And you can put cones in there. Like you could put cones in there. Just another good fun day at homeschool, huh? Well, I'm out here with Nature Girl today, and we're walking across this bridge in Fanghorn Forest. And what do we spy? Some fiddleheads. The first ones of the year. Yeah. We're gonna have a feast tonight, huh? Yep. So we're just picking off the top of the fiddlehead, where it still looks like a fiddle. And we roast them in butter and salt and pepper. Now those ones are starting to open, so we might wanna leave those. Get the ones with the full curls just like that. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good night. Here you go. I found a snail. Well, a slug. Slug. Southeast Alaska has some of the largest slugs I've ever seen. Yeah. Got the Nazarene bag almost full. Ooh, no. If you guys want a foraging bag, a good one, made in, made in the USA, get a Nazarene. A company called Just a Nazarene. He makes foraging bags, also some leather bags, which are super cool. We've loved ours and have used it pretty much exclusively. Looks like a jelly mushroom. Yes. Growing in that dead bark. And I wanna show you how much ditters we got. We got fiddles and pine cones. We got so much, the bags almost fill all the way up. I think those are mostly spruce cones. Yeah. And maybe some hemp. Oh, and here's some more. But I think they're mostly spruce. There's some fiddleheads too. Well, right there. They're, they're everywhere today. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. Check out the inside of that stump. Yeah. It died! It's big enough to live in. It's died. Keep smelling dog poo. Did I step in it? Right. Elon and I got back from our hike early. Everyone else is still out hiking. We found a bunch of fiddleheads, had a good time. But check out this library. 
Here, look at that sweet girl. Look at this awesome library, Mom. Look at that quilt. Very stormy. In the wind. It died on me though. What died? Yeah. Oh. Check out this awesome library though. It's also a cultural arts center. Look at the view. Wonder if they do church here. Stay. Just wait, wait, wait. All right, come on. Got to go grab Olin. He ran down to the Thorn River quick. Wow. We went and grabbed some groceries to pig out on the way home and have something to cook when we get there. This is right where Gravelly Creek runs in. It's a cool little pull-off spot to fish. Sometimes the steelhead pull in there. Or there's a couple bends in here the steelhead like to hang out at. It's a fun spot. Haven't been down here. Probably been a month at least. But beautiful, beautiful day. The weather is supposed to be awesome this whole week, so we're gonna try to take advantage of it. Yesterday we cleaned the house and then Went and fished the Cloac River. So, got our chores done. Today we ran to Kassan, San, whatever you want to say. I think we're gonna do Sandy Beach this week. But we're gonna try to fish a lot. There's some great camping spots here. So, we're gonna try it. Look at that. There's Olin's stuff. He must be wet waiting. Olin! Time to go. One more cast, he says. Fisherman's famous last words. Some undercut bank. Man, we could camp on this underneath this. Just dig it out a little bit. How many did you catch? One. Any bites? Yeah. Yeah, how many bites? One. One. What? Yeah, uh, the water melting coming off the top of the mountain is pretty cold. Come on, Huck Finn. A little cold. Here, hand me the rod, I'll take it. I bet. Well, I like it though because it keeps the pain from the rocks away. Keeps the pain from the rocks away because it's so cold. The makes it numb. Oh, Alright, we'll come back and fish it maybe later this week. Yes, please. Yeah. Maybe Thursday. With waders. Yeah, with waders for sure. And hot dogs.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of our trip to Kassan, Alaska. We had a great time making it. Hit subscribe if you liked it. And we plan on bringing out a lot more videos in the near future. Have a great weekend, everybody.